In this tutorial, I will teach you how to take apart and reassemble the 2x2 Rubik's Cube, the Ice Cube, and the Rubik's World. Since they all have the same mechanism, I have combined them all into one tutorial. I've got Cubesmith stickers on here, which is why there isn't a logo, and I took the stickers off of this one because I peeled off the clear outer layers on the stickers, which you should not do, and this color just started fading away, so I just peeled them off. They look better anyway. And I also switched the core pieces between these two cubes because the pieces that were in this one were bright blue and I put them into this one because I will be demonstrating on this one and it'll be easier to see the pieces. So for the Rubik's Cube, rotate the top layer 45 degrees like this and then just pull off one of the corners. Like that. It may be tough to do and if it doesn't feel like it wants to come off that may be the piece that's attached to the core, so just try a different piece and it should come off easily. Now for the 2x2 ice cube, there is a cap over a screw, so this one's much easier to take apart. It's on the blue, yellow, orange corner, and then just look very closely, and it's right there, and I can just take it off with my fingernail, but you may need to use a blade the first time. You can also see the screw through the plastic. So just take a screwdriver and unscrew that. Then you can take off the corner and then the lower section of it. Now for the Rubik's World, I have to say that there is no way to take this apart without breaking it. But I really haven't had a problem with the pieces that have broken. It still stays together fine. But one time I did break a piece on the ice cube and it did fall apart very easily once. So do this at your own risk. So rotate one of the layers a little bit so that it's misaligned, then bring the other one up like this until you hear a snap of the piece breaking. Just like that. So here are the pieces and the broken piece. Now there are caps on the 2x2 cube and on the Rubik's World, but they're glued down and won't come off. I believe the cap is on the lower part of Africa, so I believe this is the cap. So, And they're just glued down and they don't want to come off. Okay, so now to continue on this, this assembly with the 2x2 cube, and you just apply the same steps to assembling this as you do with the Ice Cube and the Rubik's World. So just take a these pieces off, they just slip off nice and easily. And there you go. Now while you have your cube apart, I recommend that you lubricate it with something like silicone spray. And if you want to go into more detail on how to properly lubricate a Rubik's Cube, check out my video on how to do it. Now this corner here is attached to the core because the 2x2 Rubik's Cube uses the same mechanism as a 3x3. It's just that all of these center and edge pieces are hidden below all of the corners on the 2x2 cube. So this piece right here is really just the same as an edge piece on a 3x3, and these little crown pieces are really just the center piece on a 3x3. And to prevent the internal mechanism from getting out of alignment, they attached the core to this corner. Okay, for the reassembly, take one of these center pieces and stick it on one of the little knobs. And then the other corner that goes right here, I can see, is green and white. So it's this one. Now we want to fit two edge pieces into it. So like, one right there, and then one right here, and then I just simply fit them on. Just like that. And then take another knob and fit it right here. So I need an orange-white corner, or a white-red corner. And then I'll fit the two edge pieces into it. And fit it right in place. And then for the white-orange, I will only need one edge this time. And then just fit it on there. Okay, now you can tell that this is the core, this is the corner that is attached to the core. So I want to put these three pieces on first and then put this one over here last. I find it's just a little easier to do when you don't have to put on the last corner with that core in the way. So just put on the pieces like that.
Okay, but before you put on the last piece, there's a fun thing you should know. You can take the corner and put it on wrong like this. So that way, when you mix it up, it will be unsolvable. So if you know anyone who knows how to solve a 2x2, two two, this is a fun practical joke to do to them. So just take the last corner and fit it on there. Like this, and then just pull it up and fit it over the pieces just like that. That may require some perseverance, it's a pretty tough thing to do, but you should be able to get it. Now when you get to that point on the ice cube, take this lower piece and stick it right there, then take the top part of the corner and fit it right over that, and then take the screw and then screw it in there till it's nice and tight. Then put the cap back on. There and just like before, you reassemble the Rubik's world just like you did with these cubes. Okay, when you're on the last piece for the Rubik's world, you want to make sure that the broken center piece is either here, here, or here. And then you want to just put this piece on there and then slide it into position over the broken piece. This will be pretty tough to do and to show you. So there, there's my broken piece, so I'm going to fit this right there. And this will be tough to do, but I think I'll manage. So you just want to get them to slide together. Just like that. Very tough to do, so you want to make sure this piece slides over the edge piece right there, and this needs to slide into position. So I'm sure that will be very hard for you to do, but with just some perseverance, you should be able to do it. And then, hopefully, your cube won't fall apart now because of the broken piece inside. So now, now that that's done, this concludes the tutorial.